Yep, hola and bonjour everybody. You know who it is, Matthew from McCrow Bros Bodybuilding, MB3. So Doug's on vacation this week. Just me stuck at home. Just woke up. Decided to try out a hat. I haven't worn one for so long. Representing Ferrari. Um, what am I, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, I was going to say, I woke up. I'm going to go straight to do some legs. Then I had a little feeling, I kind of got a poop. And that brought me to <laughs> the realization that if you're going to go train, especially doing legs or uh, back, like deadlifts or squats, and you have even an inkling of a thought that you might have to relieve a load, you're going to want to go ahead and do that. Because as soon as you start going, too many times this has happened to me. Middle of the gym, I've walked all the way there. It's like walking a mile away. Go down, get some warm-up sets. Go down for a little heavier set. And as soon as I go down, I feel like I'm going to either have to fart or drop drop one right here on the mat. So too many times that happen. Ruins your whole workout. You could go easily take one, but you know, I like to relieve myself in my own home. Plenty of time, no pressure, you know. Some people feel that way. So anyway, I was about to go do legs and then I thought I better take this shit. Okay, so as I said earlier, leg day at home. What can you possibly do? If you're lucky, you can squat. You could lunge, maybe straight leg deadlift. If you're also lucky, you could have like a quad extension. Whew! Just warmed up a little. Um, but for me, luckily I have this bench here. Now, for uh, leg days, you can see, I pull it out a little further from the uh, wall. You take these, uh, whatever you call them, braces. Take them out, turn them around so it goes in reverse. Heighten them a little bit. Is that a word, heighten? No. Maybe. And then this, <laughs> this thing I had to kind of keep up to get it out of the way, so I just kind of jammed this in there. Anyway, so it makes for a squat rack. I may be saying, should be squatting barefoot, shouldn't be squatting on soft carpet like that, but I don't really care. It's at home. Fine with me. I'm not doing anything heavy anyway. Go up to maybe 225. <sighs> Whatever. Because there's not even... If I can't get the weight up, <laughs> uh, there's not really anything to drop it on. I don't want to drop these old hard plates. probably crack. Probably break the wall. Who knows what's going to happen. But Also, just remember I have this. I'll show you when I put it together. I made a, like a corner cabinets. So, put that together real quick. After the workout, I'll show you what it looks like. And the workout begins. So, uh, setting up this GoPro. I think I've, I've been warming up, up to 185. Uh, as you can see, there's no wrist or knee wraps or even a belt at this point. I mean, it's lightweight. But the whole workout, I was trying to not use a belt because... Uh, I feel if you don't really need the belt, if you don't need it to help you from leaning forward because your abs aren't strong enough, your core isn't strong enough, you shouldn't even be using one. If anything, this will help actually strengthen the whole core. So that's the reason I didn't use a belt. Here I've gone to, I think this is 225. Um, so I decided to change up the workout a little bit. Instead of just doing a straight set, you'll see here. I bring it down, still good form and everything. I just do four reps, and then I'm gonna be racking the weight, and then I'm gonna take a, I guess it's probably about 10 second pause. So I just loosen up and everything, get my mind right, ready for the next four reps again. Then you'll see, after these next four reps, I do the same pause, ooh, worked a little bit. Uh, oh. Do the same pause for four more times. So there's a total of 12 reps with two breaks in between. 
so uh, this way I feel with just these short breaks I feel like I'm still doing hypertrophy I mean 12 reps is pretty high but I get little breaks in there to help you know ease the pain and I kind of was thinking about this earlier it's kind of like hit training high intensity interval training and cardio except instead of with cardio I'm doing intervals of squats so like going hard and then I'll I guess it'd be more drop set. But anyway, it's kind of like interval training. And there you just saw, I didn't want to pull the weight back too far while it's racked because there's no weight holding down this rack. So it could fall right back on top of me, I just realized. But hey, it didn't happen, so that's okay. So here's the last four reps. And I went on, did a couple more sets of that. But you'll see I move on to what's up there. Oh dear. Yeah, looking back at this, it's pretty embarrassing, but I figured you guys would like to see a little update. I mean, I wanted to see it myself. I haven't looked at my progress for so long being at school and stuff, especially with legs. So, a little more updates coming soon after that. This was just kind of funny. I was trying to experiment with doing these one-leg uh, lunges. See, I'm trying to hold on because I've been trying to do it without holding it. It's so hard to keep balance. <laughs> And try to get my knee. And, oh, I just fell off. I just gave up at that point. I was trying that for like 15 minutes, trying to get that right. It's ridiculous. Um, so I just had to move on to just standard dumbbell lunges. Um, so here you'll see I'm doing just the one leg at a time. I think it's only like eight reps. I moved up to like 10 reps and experimented with alternating legs also. And. So basically every set I'm doing is different from the previous set. Either by the way I'm doing it, the form, the weight, anything. I just I don't like to do the similar sets over and over again. You know, just changing up for your body so it can adapt to what you're doing. Always learning. Um, what's next? I think oh yeah, then I went to Luckily I'm one of these people I was talking about earlier that does have a quad extension machine. This is an attachment. I really like this um, bench. It's got a lot of good features to it. But anyway, here's the quad extensions. I was going to do hamstring curls. You can see you lie in your stomach and put your legs up on that top rung, but you know, I just didn't feel like it. I'll say it later. So I'm just holding it there. Um, pretty lightweight, but still holding it. I thought it was funny. Here's me nut flexed. <laughs> when it's in pump, it looks so funny. And then there's a few more leg posing updates. I just like I said, there's little glutes. I've really been working on my hamstrings in these off seasons. You can tell like it's actually kind of working. So uh, glad to see that coming. All right. So after an excruciatingly long time trying to put these cabinets back together, it was hard because the, all the holes were pre-drilled, and I had it together, took it apart. And they all look similar, but the screws are slightly different angle apart. So anyway, this is how it goes. Scoot on the wall in the corner like this. And now you got a nice corner cabinet. Corner shelves. And that's with two coats of natural finish, two coats of polyurethane, sanded in between. So I think it's pretty good. It's whatever. And just walk in here. I'll just show you real quick another one of these projects. Just made a hammock stand, hammock stand, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just two by fours, really. This is just kind of for a visual. I was gonna make my own hammock, then I was like, well, I'll just buy one, it's easier. <laughs> Probably stronger and safer. But anyway, this will be at my house next year. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's plenty strong, and it all folds up, so it's pretty nice. So that's on the side when I'm at home. I like to do a couple projects. Me and my bro do those. So, so anyway, oh yeah. I forgot we even had a leg day workout. After doing those cabinets, I got my mind off of it. Um, so for being home, not too bad of a workout actually. I got the squats in. I got lunges in. I got quad extensions. I was going to do hamstring curls, but... I was just focusing on quads, and I didn't really, <laughs> I just didn't want to do hamstring curls. Um, 
but yeah, on this quad extension machine, I was really holding it at the top. You can kind of see it's angled down, but got a great pump in the quad. So getting a good pump at home is not something easy to do with legs. So I think I'm pretty happy about that. So that's the extent of the workout. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's at home. There's minimal motivation, as many of you guys know, if you try to work out at home or something. So... Hope you guys liked the video. Speaking of that, you can go ahead and like the video, throw it on a comment, and even subscribe. Remember, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. Just sit on the bench is perfect height for me to stretch. And there you go. Just put the plates right on your knees. Obviously, since they're closer to your center of gravity, um, it's not as heavy as a machine would be.